y'all. So I have some some chairs that I ordered from Amazon. And they actually, I'm going to pair them with um, a table that I went into rooms to go and ordered me a table. But these boxes have been sitting in my room probably about a month now. And they actually contain, like each box contains two pieces. So yeah, I got like a total of about three boxes here that I'll be um, assembling the chairs. So tomorrow they'll be pulling up to drop that table off. So I definitely have to go um, take apart my other table that I currently have. Mona Lisa break a nigga in the pieces Had to ex some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta boutiques All them little ass clothes only fit fake booties Bad bitch, still talking cash shit Pussy like water, I'm a mother in relaxing I would never trip on a nigga if I had him Bitch, that's my trash, you the gay, so you bad I'm a savage Classy, bougie, gadget yeah. Sassy, booty, hey, nasty hey. All I'm showing. I keep my niggas private, so it's AP all I'm showing. Beefing with you bitches really getting kind of boring. If it ain't about the money, then you know I'm gonna ignore it. I'm the shit. Ooh. I need a mop to clean up force. Too much drip. Too much drip. I keep you hot. I keep a walk. Keep a whip. Ooh. Let's play a game. Simon says I'm still that bitch. Ay, I'm still that bitch. Yeah. I'm a savage. Classy. Gucci. But yeah, they just brought my um my little plants and I'm gonna sit them on the side of my TV on each side of the TV. So let me get at it. Yeah, I hope I don't have no stoppers after today because um when that door opened and this road accidentally Damn! I think I might have accidentally gave him a peep show. Right now, I am looking like a mess.com. Today, I went to, after we put the furniture in. Well, after they put the furniture in, I went to the park and did me a park workout. I posted that to my Instagram if you're following me at um, I am nurse T, whatever. But now, I done got, got me a market salad. And I always ask for my market salad with no blue cheese because I don't like blue cheese. And I actually asked for no apples because I don't like it to be too crunchy. So I'm about to eat a few bites of this because I feel like I need some food. And then we're gonna go in Walmart because I need to get some Scotch Guard so that I can Scotch Guard my chairs 
and then actually put some on my accent chairs so that'll help her keep away some of the stains even though sometimes when i do that i still get a stain or two but we gonna see all right y'all so i absolutely did not come here for this but i figured that i'll go ahead and give me a bottle of wine um, i always gravitate towards Of course, I used to be on Stella Rosa, and I drink a lot of Moet, but I think I want to, like, just kind of pick up something different. I don't know. What's this Black Girl Magic stuff over there? Have y'all tried that before? That Black Girl Magic Sparkle? I don't know. I've had the Snoop Dogg before, but I tried it at somebody's house. Maybe I'll get my own and see. It's kind of that bitter taste to where, um, yeah. Maybe I'll take some, maybe have this over dinner. And actually a good brew, I mean a good like little cheap wine too. Um, this one right here, I've had this before, this wasn't bad. Actually I might, it's a champagne though. So I might get this one. That's a cool little champagne. So I don't know, I might put Snoop back. Maybe I put Snoop back. I don't know. Let's see. I'm more of a champagne. Actually, I need to get some more champagne glasses. So maybe I'll do the champagne and I'll put this one back. Or maybe I'll just keep it. I'll keep it in case I have somebody that come over that likes that. Push P. Yeah. Push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh huh. Corners in the paddock, get my peace. Push a pee. Cop new hammers for my pee. We don't want no peace. Got shot and cuffs back. Get the keys. Drop the dad and then we black. Your side of peas. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned lesbian. Push a pee. Push a pee. I'm capital P. I write the president. I'm president. Push a pee. Push a pee. On her knees. My banana pee. She let me squeeze. Then she leave. Cause she cans of this because for like one whole couch one entire couch or sofa it's safe to use one can on each couch or whatever so i'll use a can on my chairs in my dining room and then i need a can for my accent chairs and then i'll get a can to kind of re-go over my furniture my, my couch and love seat so I'll get a total. Alright y'all, I am heading to my laser hair removal appointment. I've been doing this for about, I think about maybe two to three years now. I pro like right before COVID, COVID was what, two years ago? So right before COVID, so like probably like a year before COVID. So pretty much like three years now. And I just kind of go for maintenance treatments at this point. I do do the underarm and the Brazilian. And with the Brazilian, it's like everything, unless you specify you want something different, but they do the Brazilian, they do everything down there, plus the backside. But um, <clears throat> one thing, if you're interested in doing that, is you when you go for your appointments, you want to remember not to wear any deodorant. You also want to remember um, not to put any lotions on and take an ibuprofen take an ibuprofen if you have a low tolerance for pain um i didn't i didn't take an ibuprofen today and i know it's gonna like but sometimes when i do procedures or something that have pain like go to the dentist or this situation here um my thing is my coping mechanism how i drown out the pain is i'll you know i usually play music so find what works for you i usually will put earphones in my ear and put them real high and it's got to be something like I'm really into because it tones out the pain for me or whatever but I'm not gonna have my earphones on because I'm planning on um, you know trying to see if they'll let me record when I go just to kind of give you an insight of what to expect when you go if they let me record so if they don't let me record then I'll just record the settings when I get in there 
but no, um, and I also want to add they do ask that you shave the area so even though the hair grows back very fine and sparse and like very noticeable or sometimes it can be pretty no like it doesn't come back as much as it'll be if you didn't if you wasn't getting laser but before you get lasered they do require that you give do like a fresh a fresh um a fresh shade so make sure you shave before that and i chose laser hair over waxing because waxing was just like very painful it was like a rip a rip in your skin but yeah i think i side more with laser hair even though right laser hair it feels like rubber bands that are popping you like just popping you but again it's like a a, a moment of pain for a couple of <laughs> one thing that i learned when i was getting waxed was you know i work out so when i work out if i work out or if i go get waxed and then work out um I guess the sweat from the workout and the the um, damage to the skin, like the 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 way the skin is very you know vulnerable at that moment and tender and, and pretty much kind of open, the pores are open um, and ripped <laughs> or whatever. It just make you more liable to like um, like bacteria getting in that area. And so there's two ways to doing this. Um, one, they tell you not to work out afterwards. You know to let that area heal and that before I knew that I was working out and it just wasn't a pleasant look for me I didn't like it it made it look worse than shaving and getting razor bumps but something I something I used to do to avoid the skin being so tender and all that and putting me at risk for all that that situation or whatever with the bumps and all of that is I used to before a workout if I knew I had a fresh wax is I made sure I apply like a um, petroleum jelly or desitin or what is it a and d ointment or whatever just some type of a skin barrier so you want to place a skin barrier so that would be a barrier between the sweat and the skin so that the the, the skin itself is not irritated and causing you to have more bumps so for those of you who are still um getting waxed these are true ogs because to me the waxing it still came back pretty frequently but like I said now, like my appointments now with laser hair for maintenance is probably like once every three months. Yeah, but all in all, I just love the fact that it's low maintenance. Like, you know, you just go to your upkeep appointments and you pretty much stay ready. <laughs> you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. <laughs> she walked in and she said no but um I won't tell if you won't but anyways you didn't want me to record but you want to ask me all my personal questions you have any kids how long you been in Houston blah 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 I'm like ma'am what you thought I was gonna record hmm did you think I was going to show all my goods or something. No. All I wanted to record was a little, a little piece of the process so you know. 
but anyways so they did offer me like a package you can do a package if you want to do brazilian you could do a package for three um treatments for $2.99 so that makes it like $99 each. um if you don't do the package and you want to pay for each single treatment then it's um one fifty. Well, I think it's one fifty, one eighty, one fifty. One of them. One hour later. Yeah, no, one fifty. No, one, one thirty nine. One thirty nine. And um, so this month is September, October, November. So I'm rescheduled like the very end of November. So after Thanksgiving, I'll be back. So kind of like in two months or whatever. And it's just for like the maintenance or whatever. So anyway. Let's get on with the day. All right, y'all. So I'm back. I'm at home. I came home, had like a little sandwich or whatever. But um, actually, when I pulled up, I noticed that my bar stools that I ordered off of, I think it was Wayfair. Um, my bar stools arrived. Arrived. I ordered two bar stools because my bar area is kind of small. So I'm actually going to go in there, go in the living room and try to put my bar stools together and then after that I'm going to meet my friend because her in-laws are having um, a get-together at this food truck um, area so anyways I don't know what it's like but I'll ch I'll bring y'all along with me I don't know what kind of food they serve on a food truck but we'll find out together so um, yeah so I think I'm gonna go in there start working on putting my bar stools and Bailey is in there getting her hair to rebraid it so Another woman that could take your spotlight. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do? If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world. But I ain't see myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me. You ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See? which is a good thing. So it's like a charcoal gray. And I went to um, a restaurant called Bungalow, Bungalow Lounge or something, Bungalow something. Anyways, I'll include it. But anyways, they had these chairs, but they were in gold. And I tried to find the ones in gold, but they didn't have the gold. So this is what it do for now. I think they nice and different. So I ended up only getting two because my little bar area over there, I don't want it to get in the way of the of the accent chairs. So, so I got two. my bar stools I like my my color transition because I used to have like a, a darker color and to me I felt like that wasn't my vibe you know so I still have that darker color but it's more so in a different area more for entertainment but for every day come home I was looking more for like a soft neutral um, just something that speak calm just whatever so I'm still gonna be adding some stuff but I pretty much made a big shift as to what I really wanted to do. So anyways, let me go ahead and go so I can go hit and see what these food trucks are about. So let's go. Y'all coming? Let's go. 
so we are out and we are heading to our destination. Ready, B? Yeah. We rolling. All right, y'all. So we yeah. we are heading to the Rose Hill Beer Garden, and it's off of um, Highway 249. If you in Houston, it's off of Highway 249. So no, Highway 290. Correction, Highway 290. So we'll see what it's about when we get there. Chicken tender basket or something. Now, who have the wings? Oh, we have the wings. Now, you said the ghetto twins. I'm going to go. The one that's on the food network. The DTP. Yeah, Delvin. Now, what's this one? This one is. So, what, what you have over here? Yeah, video tacos. We have a uh, gourmet street. Uh, gourmet street tacos, cheeseburgers, uh, cortas, quesadillas. It's all on our menu right here. Oh, you got shrimp tacos. Yeah, we have shrimp tacos. A Fulton Street oh, Mexican cheeseburger. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. That's what they know. Wow, the food look amazing. Look at the picture. What is that right there? Right here, this is the Fulton Street cheeseburger. The who? It's a burger with it. Then we also add the spicy beef right on top of it. A oh, Fulton Street? Oh. And that's uh, the top street taco. Let's send you a picture right there. Right here? No, that's in the corner, right up, up, no back. Yeah, right there, up, above. Yeah. Right here? What's that? Loaded fries. Oh, loaded fries. Oh. Ooh. I'm going to tell Philly cheese steak. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Thank you, you for coming you back. Hey, how'd you like that? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I've been telling you about it. Yeah, I, I didn't know you was here. There's been something different You must be made for me Patience is nothing In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, trifling, difficult Let go, I don't know Why you love me, yeah You got it bad, you got it bad for me, babe I don't feel glad So I got the double 
we're gonna see. Then I had the little drink here. It's good. What you want, Bailey? Got toys for the kids. All right, let mommy see what you got, a sword? 